what is up y'all what is up tell me have you ever dealt with being down depression anxiety just just not knowing what the hell to do with yourself or what you're doing what's new what's wrong like what's up with this world i mean i'm sure most if not a lot of the people or you that are listening to this podcast, I'm sure ask yourself this at some point in time, what am I doing with myself? You know, I, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing anymore. Did I quit what I was actually meant to be doing and now I'm doing something I don't believe in or am I, uh, am I with the wrong person? Am I doing the right hobby? Am I doing the, you know, working on the wrong, wrong job? Am I learning the right, wrong subjects? Am I not, avoiding enough time to my family or just what am I doing here with myself in this city right now in Chicago? Should I be somewhere else? Should I be in a different country? I don't know. The questions come through our heads all the time, day in, day out. And unless you're so super focused and you're dead set on something that you need to get done, chances are that these questions keep popping into your head, you know, at some point in time in your life. You know, most people are resilient. Kudos. Props to you, but I don't think too many are at all times. And I'm one of them. I'll be real with you. The one thing you will get with this damn podcast called Boss to Boss and on the Ransom Recaps is that you will see and hear that I am real. And I, I have been dealing with a lot. And that's kind of why I didn't have an episode last week. You know, straight up. That's that's why. And I wanted to make sure before I get further with the show, Steve Wiley, AKA the producer, he runs the local level show. Wanted to make sure that, that I mentioned uh, pod river, pod river.com P O D river pod river, catch your podcast in the stream. Um, check it out. It's our, it's our me. It's our network company that we're, uh, that we're promoting. It has all our three podcasts, boss to boss, local level, uh, the Mac and black sports show and more to come possibly. So stay tuned depending on when you're listening to this, uh, to this episode. So check out our website and um, you could also, if you're looking to become a sponsor of the show, of our sites, of, uh, of you pretty much, you name it. We have video, audio, uh, check, out, check out the website, potterover.com and the whole sponsor uh, package. Um, the, the form is at the top. Uh, be sure to check it out for more info. Um, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, I could actually do it, do it here with you. Um, it's pretty much you go up top, you go to services, advertise with us, or just drop your info in there and you know we'll go from there. We request the call, we'll talk to you. Uh, we'd love to work with you. But back to uh, what I was talking about. We aren't always perfect. I'm not always perfect. That's why I missed last week's show. I did. I straight up missed it because I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get myself mentally, physically. I couldn't even like walk into my damn little studio that I have in my, in my home to get myself to do it. I couldn't even think of anything to say. I, I was getting like camera shy and mic shy all of a sudden, which is just stupid, which is straight up stupid, but, but it happens and you can't kill yourself about it. You can't beat yourself up about it. It happens. And you know, we're here for you. I'm here for you. And others are, you know, others were, were always here for me. So I, I know how it feels and you have to get out of it. You got to snap out of it and you got to go on, got to go on um, a part of it. I'm not going to lie, but I, I hate having excuses for myself, but seasonal depression, you know, the seasonal whole thing, I forgot what the lingo is for it, but it, it is real. It is real. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. You know, it's called sad, right? Seasonal affective disorder. So th it's a real thing. People do go through it, do suffer. I mean, that especially depending where you're at. I mean, if you're in Alaska, good luck, power to you. Um, people are, you know, it is such thing as people with, you know, when there's less uh, light outside, it's darker more of the time. Seasonal depression is a real thing. Though other countries, you know, like I brought up before, Norway, Sweden, they get away with it and they're some of the happiest countries on earth. So there are ways around it. And I talked about that already before, I'm not going to go back into it, but kind of for me, what helped me get through it, what helped, what helped me snap out of it and get back on my, you know, ABC game and at my DF, my DF game has been a few things, you know, one, I'm going to give you a quick little guide. You know, I got about 
10, eight, eight, eight to 10 steps here. Um, and I'm going to go through them about what you can do to snap out of your funk. I, I can talk about it because I deal with it. I've been deal with it, dealing with this since I want to say around 20 years old and I'm 30 now. So a good solid 10 years I've been dealing with this kind of stuff about just not knowing what to do with myself. And if I'm doing the right thing, do I get out of bed this morning? And some of the things that have helped me get past it and help every time. One is force yourself to go out. Being at home for a prolonged period of time can definitely, you know, put you in a bad place. It, you, you start kind of going down, a, you know, a hole, you start spiraling down, it could get worse and worse. And, you know, I am going to mention, I am not a doctor. I am not a psychiatrist, psychologist, you name it. I'm not, but I've read a lot of things. I've worked with numerous people in that, in that, um, in that field. So these are some of the things I've picked up on and things that have worked just personally for me. It's my tips, you know, and if they help, they help. I really hope they do. If they don't, then, you know, there's a lot of professionals out there that would, would dig deeper into it. But forcing yourself to go out is one. Two, you know, don't just force yourself. Actually put things on the schedule. Make yourself accountable. Maybe reach out to someone. Maybe there's a birthday. Maybe there's an event. Text them. Get tickets. Commit some money to it. Whatever it is, put it on your calendar. I'll invite others to it so, like, you are a part of it. Um, and those things, you know, it's a lot harder to say no if you committed to an event, to something, and people are looking up to you and people are counting on you to be there. Uh, that, that's, that's definitely one thing. Uh, and then kind of to round it all out, you know, go see, you know, people, force yourself out. Uh, with that, you know, you get to talk about it. You get to be around a community, an environment. So kind of like step three is once you see these people, once you force yourself to go out by putting things on your schedule, you get a group, you get become part of a community, become part of a bigger whole. You have the opportunity to feel welcome. You have people to talk to about anything just to get your mind off of the current bad state you are in and you get a sense of community. Um, and then kind of next going into step four, you know, you could talk about it. You know, yes, obviously the people you force yourself to go out with, you can talk to them about it, but you don't have to necessarily always step out of the house. I understand it's maybe it's not possible during that time. What you can do prior to, you know, making those arrangements and getting out of the house is reaching out, you know, to your loved ones. If they're with you, talk to them about it. Mention, you know, like I am going through a shit time right now, a tough time. I need help. I need help. And you know, what can you do? At least understand what's happening right now. By the way, if you are watching the video or listening and you hear a bunch of commotion, that is Moose. Moose, Moose, say hi. All right, he's not bugging. But anyway, uh, Moose is tearing up a bone right now and he's just going going ham on it. So just, just be aware, listeners, be aware. Uh, but talk to your loved ones. Next, call, call friends. Call friends. Uh, what are your closest friends? Call someone you work with. You know, I actually, I reached out and I told my producer, you know, I was like straight up, Hey man, um, I'm going through a shit time right now. I am, you know, and I, I might not get the episode out. I might not get things done on time. And, and it helped. It actually helped a lot, you know, especially cause it's an outside party, maybe not someone you're with all the time and they kind of, you know, bust your balls or just, <laughs> I, I know that that's not the proper term or proper way, but maybe that's all I needed. I needed something. I needed someone to say something, snap me back into place. Um, but also, you know, someone that's understanding too. So, you know, there's a little bit of that. There's actually reaching out to your family, your parents, your, your siblings, or, or you know, whatever, you know, whoever it is, tell them, yeah, hey, I'm going through a tough time. Like, you know, this is what's bothering me now. I don't know what I'm, if I'm doing the right thing. Maybe they could just give you another perspective on stuff. And, and last but not least, uh, something else that I did, it happened to be this week and it's something I do every few months. You know, go see someone. Go see an actual licensed professional person. See a therapist, a coach, a life coach. Um, that's what I did. I went to see someone and I talked and I talked my fucking face off. I did. And it was great because talk about someone that, really doesn't know you, you know, like is not there in your regular daily life is a straight up, you know, third person. Talk about someone like that, giving you a perspective on things. 
it's going to open up your mind even more and being like, hell, you know, this was so stupid or this is what I'm going to do now. But, you know, things like that, things like that. Uh, next, step five, work out. Work out. I know it's so hard. I know it is. I know it is. Stretch out. I don't know. Kneel below by your bed and go on the floor. Do some damn stretching exercises. Do a five or 10 push ups. Get that blood flowing. I don't do some squats as you're walking around the house. And if you somehow could go outside, take a walk. Maybe, maybe if you feel a little better as you're taking that walk, start jogging. Do that block or two block jog. Heck, get a mile out or two. And I luckily, I was able to, with the support of my fiance, we were able to go to the gym during like one of these days. And that was kind of the turning point when I was able to run. And then I kind of ran more and I was only going to go for like 20, 30 minutes. That's all I committed to. I said like 30 minutes. That's it. I ended up being there for almost an hour because I kept running, kept running, kept running. I felt better, felt better. And I swear um, that, that was probably the turning point. You know, they, they say exercise, work it out, those miracles. And, and it really does. Um, next step, number six, uh, practice some deep breathing. This one is probably my personal favorite because it works the quickest. Anytime you're going through a tough, tough moment, um, whether you're down or this works, especially for anxiety, you know, you want to set yourself in place. You know, you want to make yourself present and there's no better way to make yourself present than actually taking super deep breaths, you know, practice with me right now, you know, take three, five seconds in five seconds, hold it. And then five seconds out. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Maybe it wasn't a full 15 seconds, but do you feel a little bit more awake? A little bit more here and you can't just do it once. You got to go at least two, three times. It's going to get it even better, even better, but we don't ever really do that. We don't unless someone makes us in like a damn yoga class or if we're warming up or cooling down from a workout class, there's a reason they do it. Shit works. I'm telling you it works. Well, next moving on, uh, is just dealing, dealing with, with problems head on. You can't keep beating around the bush. You can't keep not talking about it, whatever it is you're dealing with the issues, the problems, you have to bring it up to someone. You have to say what it is. You just have to, it's going to come out sooner or later. And whether it's an outside party that doesn't know the people that are in the middle of the situation, because you're not comfortable talking about it, maybe directly with that person, maybe the outside party will motivate you to make, to, you know, to figure out the best way to do it. But talk about the damn problem head on and quit beating around it. Cause it's going to keep boiling up inside of you. It's going to keep boiling up and sooner or later it is going to come out and it's going to burst and it's going to suck. It's really going to suck. It's going to be a pain. Next one, set some alarms. I can't remember which point I'm on right now. I want to say like five, six, seven, eight, nine. If, if, if you're keeping track, I want to say this is point number nine, set some damn alarms notifications, reminders, whatever. Uh, it, it's a, another, another goodie that I like, especially if you're like, oh, I'm probably going to sleep in today. Well, set, some, set a few alarms that are going to force you to wake up and make you think early and make you try to wake up and maybe, oh, here, sign this paper. Here, send this out. Here, write this email. Set those alarms. Keep them coming. If you keep seeing them, there's something about it. Um, there's definitely uh, theories out there. There's studies. You know, If you keep seeing things, you're going to be, you're eventually sooner or later, it's going to click and you're going to do it. You're going to get there. You're going to achieve it. So even if you're down, don't forget to set some uh, reminders and notifications because you need that push and you need to keep seeing it. You need to keep seeing it sooner or later. It is going to happen, whatever that thing is. And, and hopefully those little subconscious reminders will eventually reach the surface and, and they will, and they will. And Last but not least, number 10, reward yourself. I mean, this is kind of like a given, I would think. I hope. 
especially because if you are down, you're probably doing something bad. You might be drinking yourself. Um, you know, you might be uh, eating too much. You might be binging. You might be, I don't know, maybe you're whatever you're addicted to, you know, your little thing. Um, reward yourself. Even though it might sound like it's counter counterproductive, you got to do it a little bit. You know, whether you eat that cheap meal or you do something one day, one night, you go somewhere, um, just do it. Do it at least that one time, you know, like treat yourself with something like, you know, get some of those, those good hormones out. You know, I, I know it's not always the best way and the best way to fix anything, but, you know, treat, make, re, re, remember that you've done some good things. You've, you've gotten here. You, you, you not everything has been a pain. Like you've actually done some great things to get here. You know, think back, like I'm, there has to be something. You helped out someone. Maybe you just made someone smile or you listened to someone. Reward yourself for it. I don't know. You know, have that cheap meal, have something, go to that place you've been wanting to go to for a while. You know, invite that friend you've been wanting to see and hang out with and go to that damn restaurant that both of you love so, so much. Just make it happen. Reward yourself. But the last pro last one i don't um, last one i forgot to mention it was part of the original 10 if you do reward yourself don't overdrink don't drink too much and cut yourself off remember have a water with every single drink that's like the golden rule and you know cut yourself off after like a day like don't keep binging cuz that's only going to put you in a worse place it's going to cause more anxious and depressing thoughts to come out um i mean it's 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 it sounds like it's a given but but maybe it's not. Not everyone always realizes it. But yeah, try try to try to keep it keep it on low down. You know, anything that's gonna you know all affect you, you know, alter your mind, it's not gonna be good for you, especially if you're coming down. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Boss to Boss Rants and Recaps. Just uh, next next episode, I definitely want to catch you up on what's happening with Hodgepodge. We've officially hit the slower season. The holidays are amongst us. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And now we got, you know, everything else coming up, the the other holidays, um, you know, the snow hopefully will be falling. I'm here in Chicago. I don't know where you're at. Maybe you already got it. Maybe you won't see it at all. And maybe you're happy that you won't see it at all. But either way, hope you're, hope you're doing awesome. Keep crushing it and check out podriver.com. And if you're listening to the podcast, wherever it is, please go on iTunes, leave us, drop us a review. Um, you know, on Bossed to Boss. The reviews really help just because we have gotten ranked and we're trying to get ranked again, trying to get back up there. And things like that just means so much, you know, being being a growing podcast. And we want to keep developing and keep, you know, having better production quality and more podcasts, more content, more guests. And that's going to happen with with ratings being higher. And just naturally, it's kind of like, kind of an effect ratings and subscribers and people listening and the word being spread. So thank you so much, every single one of you. I'm definitely thankful for all of you. Take care and talk to you soon. Peace. That is all for this episode of boss to boss. Your next step is to visit boss to boss.com where you will find proven techniques followed by professionals to help you make that next step. Again, that is boss, the number two boss.com. And remember, the time is now. <laughs>